everyone, and welcome to our seventh week of online learning. This week, we are going to be learning all about pattern. Pattern is so cool. It's my one of my favorite principles of design, and I'm so excited to teach you guys about how to make your own patterns. So, designing patterns is something that lots and lots of professional artists do and make a lot of money doing. They do it for a living. You can find patterns almost everywhere that you go. As a matter of fact, I just happen to have a pattern right here on my notebook. You see how it's different flowers? And they're all the same flowers over and over again, but in different places? That's because it's a pattern. A pattern means that different elements of art, like colors, lines, shapes, or textures, are repeated evenly across a composition. Composition here means work of art, right? So if we take this blank piece of paper and we're gonna make a pattern from it, here on our lesson here, you can see I have some videos to help you learn a little bit more about patterns. We're gonna make our patterns this week based on our favorite fruits and vegetables. So I hope you guys like fruits and veggies because I love them. I love all kinds of fruits. Like I love cherries and lemons and blueberries and strawberries and apples and oranges and tomatoes and I love vegetables like I love cabbage and kale and green beans and I love broccoli and I love Brussels sprouts and spinach is so yummy. I like squash, I like zucchini. Oh, just about everything that grows I like to eat. And I hope you guys do too because everything is so fresh and delicious tasting, but cucumbers are really good too. But today I think that we're gonna make patterns based off of lemons and blueberries. And that's because I wanna show you guys a couple different ways that you can make patterns like that. So I have this blank piece of cardboard that I painted white. You can just use paper. I didn't have any paper. That's why I painted my cardboard white. And I'm gonna use some paint because I have some on hand, but you don't have to worry about it if you don't have paint. You can use any kind of colors that you have. I'm also gonna use some paint markers and some Copic markers, which are kind of like regular old markers, so you can use anything that you have. So I'm gonna use some paint. And then I also have some Play-Doh here and some different shapes that I made out of different colors of Play-Doh. And I'm gonna make some patterns from that. And we're gonna make some different patterns together. Before that, let's check out this really quick video that I would love to show you. Hi, guess what? Elmo's here with his good buddy Craig to tell everybody today's word. And today's word is pattern. pattern. And what is a pattern, Mr. Craig? A pattern is something that comes in a certain order and repeats. That's a really like simple way this. to put it. A certain yeah. order. And repeat. Oh. Vegetable. Fruit. Vegetable. Uh, I said vegetable. Uh -huh. Oh no. What's wrong, Mr. Craig? The, the last vegetable didn't show up, so now a pattern didn't repeat all the way through. Oh, it doesn't? No. A pattern was supposed to be fruit, vegetable, fruit, vegetable, fruit, vegetable. But now a pattern is ruined. Oh no. This That's is so terrible. Sad. Oh no, we don't have why vegetables? Why? <laughs> That's really sad. Wait. I know what we can use to finish our pattern. Did Mr. Craig bring another vegetable? Even better. <laughs> Elmo, you say that pattern one more time, uh -huh. and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Oh. Fruit. Vegetable. <laughs> for vocabulary ammo. <laughs> so that's a little bit about a pattern and join me in the next part of this video and you guys will see me create my patterns out of the things that I have shown you okay so I'm gonna be creating a vegetable and fruit based pattern as well and I'll see you there bye bye